just think about it for a second that you're all sitting in this room. Turn to the person sitting next to you and just try and see if you were given this chance that you couldn't communicate to him that you needed a glass of water. How would you feel? Just think about it. Turn towards him, look at him and just try to see. I just spontaneously needed a glass of water, but I can't tell. Now for the last uh, two decades, almost I, as a cancer surgeon, used to live with a lot of patients who get throat cancer because of uh, tobacco use, smoking, and eventually, you know, in India, because they are advanced stages of diagnosis, lose their voice box. So, you know, we all have a voice, we all have a throat box that makes us speak, correct? So these patients lose their voice box and hence they have a permanent hole in the throat here. That means this is their new nose. This area which you are seeing is going to be their new nose. They can't smell the fragrance of a perfume or the aroma of a coffee as we all do over here. And they live in silence for the rest of their life. Now, there are only two companies in the world, one from US and another one from Europe, who actually have invented two machines which are costing between 30,000 to up to 1.5 lakh rupees. And uh, this has been the world. So this half of the world was told, if you have money, you will talk. This half of the world was told that if you don't have money, you can't talk. And something kept bothering me about this to say that I need to do something about this. Until my partner Shashank uh, joined me, he, he, we both bike and you know, he came to me one day and he gave me a very thought provoking question. I was asking him to do some charity program for raising funds for a security guard. This security guard whom I had operated for throat cancer, who was a BD user, came to me, sat down and told me, Sir, surgery ke baad cancer to nikal gaya, but mera awaz bhi chala gaya, mera naukri bhi chala gaya. So he lost his job, he lost his voice. So a lot of the times as a cancer surgeon, you get to see the other side of life. You know, they don't come to thank you and sometimes, they, I mean, life is about they sharing their, their difficulties. So this man was sharing with me this and I thought to myself, I said, what could I do for him? And I went to Shashang and that day I met Shashang and I was talking to him about how we could raise funds through some programs. And he asked me, how long are you going to do this? He said, why don't you invent something of your own? And I thought to myself and I said, no, but I said, I need help of complex silicon experts and other things. And I didn't know Shashank was one among them. So Shashank said, if you are interested to do this, I'm going to join you and we'll both build this. So 2012-13, we were actually confused. We were joking about it, thinking that Try karenge, you know, and we kept working on this until uh, uh, I think by 2015 we were able to invent this machine and uh, still not serious about it. We thought we should be able to do the idea was I wanted to make it affordable, affable and uh, accessible. So the whole idea behind this thinking was to invent a voice machine which could give people their voices back. And today I'm happy to say that it's, it's a US patent granted, global patent granted. Uh, it's been quoted by BBC, Harvard, it's a case study world over, it's considered among the 100 global social disruptions, it's got more than 2,000 people speaking who haven't spoken for 10 years, 14 years speaking again with this, who have come back to the society, who've got their voices back, who've got their jobs back. And that's the small aspect we did and actually when the first time the security guard spoke, he spoke uh, Om Manjunata and that's how I named it Om Prosthesis because I just thought it's a primordial sound. So that was the journey with which I invented this voice machine to give voices back to patients who I thought had no way to go. And today we have about 144 countries that are reaching out to us to say that they need help. Um, um, many countries, I, I recently had Iran reached out to me saying 500 patients during this period of COVID were not able to get access. And so my now next mission is to look at how I could help make this more um, scalable to, uh, to, the, to the globe and Government of India, BIRAC, uh, came forward to support this initiative and today we are able to take this to the nooks and corners and at, at that pivotal point they asked me what next and I said we need to recognize this as a disability, so as a, as a disability, a differently abled people. So today we have my, some of my patients who are also singers now using this machine, they sing. So what this machine does is it converts your food pipe into a voice box. So that's been the little journey about the voice box. And in this entire journey, I think the most important thing that I learned was that if you think that something is impossible, don't disturb the person trying to do it. 
today i am been a part of a small journey making a small change and listening to all the previous speakers and all the inspiration that we could gather we realized that it is at this time that we need to change and it, this is this is the time for india i in fact felt that um, make in india version 2.0 for the next decade will be create in india we are not going to assemble it in india we are not going to get it from china that's what i was struggling with and i did it i said i'm not going to go outsource any of these things i'm going to do all of this myself with my team and that's what we did in bangalore in pinya that we set up the entire infrastructure and that ecosystem thanks to the support of government of india has now become a support system for several hundreds of innovators who want to innovate and i'm trying to nurture that ecosystem um no, trying to build a concept of something called copy left not copyright but i'm saying that you know when i started some of these sessions earlier people used to find it strange so the first session that when i initiated the first session people said it's it's ridiculous so we actually set up a small program where we could have many people gather and we, they could steal each other's ideas so they, they found it very stupid i said let's call it the copy left program where you can come and rob each other's ideas you can share ideas and somebody can take it away and go and you can't blame him for this so my colleague said this was really ridiculous he said where did you get this idea from you know i said uh, as i was inventing the voice machine one of the people reached out to me and said i'm also working on a voice machine and i wanted to know how are you doing yours so i said i'm going to send you my designs and i'm going to send you all the artwork and uh, my colleague sitting next to me was looking at me and saying are you okay i said uh, yeah i think he's working hard so let's support him so he said but what's the logic and i gave him all the designs and i told him let's work and let's see how i can help him so this is the principle of copy left saying that i gave it and that became a ted talk eventually i gave some ted talks on that the idea was that if if this man is so good he's go, he's a better man than i am then why should i bother he's making the world a better place but i said i'm i'm really a tough nut to crack and i can beat him double faster so that's the confidence i had and i thought that i'm hiring a brilliant man to work for me now who's going to work for some more time to try and disrupt me which is very difficult but however he can try and let's work on this and in this bargain i thought ideas start to evolve in a more powerful way so copyleft was one thing that i continue to do in 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 the medical world where i feel copyleft is much necessary where we share ideas more and more so that we can get quicker solutions to this uh, country to this world and i believe it is going to be india that is going to be standing at the forefront of the world in the next generation not only to give products but also to give philosophies and i think that's the point that i made at a global platform when i did this device as as the third patent holder of the world that i did not give a device i gave a philosophy also to the world just beyond a device and i said that you know what's the difference between charity and between um, sacrifice charity has a camera with it sacrifice you have to feel the pain so when you go to a signal and when you want to give money to somebody imagine you want to give 5 rupees you say ke wo haath pair hai ke nahi kaam karta hai ke nahi but imagine i told my friend if you had to give him 100 rupees you would want his bio data correct you would want to really review his cv and say is he eligible for that or not that's the kind of pain you go through when you want to give giving is a difficult art and it's a painful art and i think we and india and the philosophy that we've we've got with us of of giving that uh, that thing to the society something that we can actually show as an example so i'm going to take you a little out of this into one problem that i faced during this innovation journey which i thought was meaningful so i'll sum it up with that so while i was working on this entire innovation i was stuck with a problem i was not able to create an insert a voice insert because they had to come for replacements and it was very complex so it was at that time that i had failed for 6 months i was not able to solve when something very strange happened that my wife in one day called me over and said let's go shopping you see we had a philosophical divide on shopping so i was very scared um and uh, you know the philosophical divide was that i go to figure out what i want she goes to buy what she wants and uh, in this particular confusion uh, i was in one health store and my son who was that time about 3 4 years old running around throwing things from the racks and i'm trying to put it back and i found a box of tampons and that was my eureka moment i actually felt this is not a complex inserter this is a tampon this is being used it's not a complex medical device type c type d and all i said this is it i said my my insert should be as simple as this so there i was at the health gore store at the billing counter with 10 boxes of tampons and my wife staring at me and telling me what's going wrong here 
and i said no this is i found my solution and she said this is ridiculous i said no this is what we call r and d i said this is so there i was with this boxes of tampons and the next couple of days was all tampons in my clinic in the in the hospital in the outpatient in the operating rooms trying to figure out the solutions and we did work on this and one of the strange thing that happened was when i went and talked to the designers of this tampons from japan and others they gave me a very interesting solutions and they spoke about this and i went back to my designers and they told me pagal ho gaya ke it's not that simple this is complex you have to do these drawings these are this this mechanisms don't work in a particular way so one of my friends while we talking said this is not a joke it's not a toy so i said no i said that makes sense i don't know how many of you all here have heard about the occam's razor so when you're faced with a very intricate problem try to find a simple solution don't complicate the solution It, it's not politics you know it's innovation so this is what we did we actually i went to a toy maker in chennapatna and the and the toy maker in chennapatna actually helped me design a voice uh, inserter within a span of 2 hours and gave me my first prototype so i think i just want to leave you with this thoughts of innovation saying that i think it's the time for innovation for india it's the time for innovation for india to give to the world just beyond the philosophy beyond the product beyond this and i think this is our, our time to make a mark to the world uh, i congratulate uh, the global summit for this wonderful program and uh, wish the economic times all the best thank you for this opportunity